Well, Pink Door, he has been handed a surprisingly soft lead here as they race away. Lompresse in second, Ahoy Senor not going to go and mix it with Pink Door here as they race to the sole fence on this part of the track. Lompresse only slightly out to the left, but Pink Door, he five links clear from Lompresse in second. Ahoy Senor two links further back, carrying the sole remaining ITV7 ticket for £50,000 with Sail Away last of the quartet so big doy just getting into his work here as they move round the bottom end in second place there is long press is about three to four lengths behind the leader ahoy senor down in trip and certainly ridden more quietly than is often the case over further as they climb uphill so they have a line of four fences here big doy out on the front end big doy jumps it well long press a slightly out to the left as they race on towards the next fence this is number three Door, he has the advantage ridden into it. Lompresse over comfortably enough, and this appears to be the order that they may well retain for a while here because the Hoy Senor in third place, just galloping with his head to one side, but he's jumped okay. Door, he soars over that. Lompresse a little bit more economical, and the gap between the two is five lengths. Hoy Senor in third, and sail away. The conclusion of those four fences up the side. Hoy Senor got into the bottom, that's his first mistake. So Pic Dorhi leading Long Presse, who's about five lengths down in these early stages. And despite the fact he's got an uncontested lead, out in the front, Harry Cobden is not setting a crawl. He's got six lengths in hand over Long Presse. Always in your and sail away. Racing up the home straight, Pic Dorhi. Again, sees a good stride. Long Presse is tending to put in the extra stride at the moment. He was shaken up for a while when he got the better of Protector at, but the scales changed as stamina came into play, but Pic Dorhi, out on the front end, has a lead of about eight lengths. He's jumping accurately, Long Presse again, just that extra stride, it's that shimmy to the left, which is almost his comfort blanket, rather than standing off. He's six to seven lengths behind, with three lengths to a hoist in York, and sail away. So racing out on their final circuit, Pic Dorhi has been able to Establish a good rhythm out in front. Long press a too early to say, Mick, whether he's just being chibbed along, but um, about six lengths the deficit. Yeah, Harry Cobden was sharp out the gate, Richard, and he stole himself a couple of cheap lengths as well. This is the crucial part of the race here. Can he keep this jumping rhythm up, chap? Yeah, ground down the hill here each fence with long press. If he does go a little bit left, it'll be hard for him, but he got a little bit closer to that. Ahoy, Senor is jumping better the further he's gone on. About five to six lengths the gaps, holding station at the moment. Big door, he just got in over to the bottom of that slightly. Long Presse is about seven lengths down. It's just tending to land with a little less momentum at the moment than Big door, he, but as I say, there's still a long way to go here. As they run down towards the ditch, Big door, he extended the advantage here. Sees a good stride as well, he's over well. Long Presse again, he's just getting into the bottom of his fences. Charlie Deutsch just changing his hands. Now, this is where we have the long run after this fence. Pic door, he comes towards it, flicks over. It's a dozen links clear now from Long Presse. This is the long run. Now, will Charlie Deutsch just try and get Long Presse to close this gap? Because it is getting worryingly large, and Harry Cobden has a look behind, and he will be pretty happy sure whether he'd know how far clear he was before that little glance and this is where Long Presse will have to work a little bit to close this deficit so still there's still a long way to go but the difference between the two is a dozen lengths so far this has really gone the way Harry Cobden would have loved can he keep his jumping going he flicks over that Long Presse slightly out to the left and Long Presse would be about 10 lengths down still as Pic Door he heads towards another plain one Pic Door he just steadies into that but he sees a reasonable stride that did allow Long Presse to close slightly. The gap between them is now about eight lengths. So Hoy Senor's a further three lengths back. Open ditch coming. Pick Dorhi, and just the fizz going out of his step slightly, and he's been shaken up now. Will this, this is where the tables may turn? Who knows? Long Presse back in second place is only five lengths down. Pick Dorhi is over. Long Presse, a Hoy Senor, and sail away. Now, what has Harry Copton got left on Pick Dorhi as he spins the bend? He asks for more and Pic Dorhi is holding the advantage over Long Presse of six lengths as he heads towards the second last with a hoist in your and then sail away two fences for 
pick Dorhi to try and last home. Long Presse and Ahoy Senor have got to within five legs, second last. Pick Dorhi is over and jumped it well. Long Presse and Ahoy Senor are gradually closing, but time is running out as they head down towards the last, and still Pick Dorhi has this advantage, and at the moment it is not shortening. Final fence in the Ascot chase, a big lead by Pick Dorhi. Beautiful jump. Long Presse has chased his shadow faintly throughout. Ahoy Senor and sail away. But Pick Dorhi, if this is his Cheltenham, it is a fantastic performance. The grade one Betfair Ascot chase. Harry Cobden, Paul Nichols, this is Johnny Delahaye. Beats Long Presse in second. Ahoy Senor and sail away. Beautiful performance by Pick Dorhi. Got into a rhythm early, saved enough as they closed to kick away in the home turn. And what about that jump at the last? Full of elan, full of verve. Pick Dorhi. It just shows it's not all about Cheltenham this season. And Pick Dorhi wins his Grade One, the Ascot Chase, the one he finished second in last year. And you don't often see Harry Cobden celebrate like that. Pick Dorhey, second last year, first this. I wonder what price he went as the tapes went up. You punched the air, Harry. You were brilliant right from the start, and you love momentum at the last. AP, as they turning here, two out. You're wondering if Lompresse can get to him, but Harry's got a bit up his sleeve. He has forward all the way, Ed jumped out smartly, got to dictate the race, go to, you know, I often think he'd done it the easy way in front, he got, speed, got to go the speed that he wanted to go, and the one thing he did most of the way was he was forward and he made ground nearly every fence, and you watched him down to the last, when you're four or five clear on a big race like this, there was no doubt he was going you know, on a long going, one. He was going long, you know, and the horse, to be fair, delivered. It was very brave. It was, like, it was brave, look. and he was, he he was coming. coming. But he didn't leave him any doubt. He had the bit up in he his mouth, sat against him, and, and got his head up, so the horse was going to get out the other side. Really good performance, brilliant trainer performance, and obviously great for Johnny De La Haye. So it was a really, really good training performance. And he's done that after what happened at Kempton at the last, which was so costly in the Silvini Arco Conti. Yeah. But look at a potential champion jockey here in Harry Cobden. Doesn't often do this, AP. Yes. <laughs> no, he, you know, like, he, certainly he got a really good start, and you often think, oh, I looked at Lompresse and Ahoy Senor, two really good stairs, and they led a horse that had a bit more speed than tactically, and he got to dictate it from the front, and it, you know, it was the winning of the race for him. Harry Cobb has ridden plenty of good winners this season, but Harry, I sense that was a bit special for you. Yeah, um, you know, the Delahays have been massive supporters of mine. Um, this horse has been utterly brilliant right the way through, and to, uh, to win another great one with him means a hell of a lot. What was the, the plan going out, or was that the plan? I woke up 7 o'clock this morning thinking I was going to follow uh, Charlie and um, Derek, and I just... I sense that... Just when I got here this morning, there wasn't loads of speed, and no-one really wanted to go on and make it, and I thought... Did you, did you know, just instead, did you know what Charlie Deutsch was thinking, or going to do well, beforehand? I just, you know, I worked out last time that that horse was obviously slow over his jumps, and when we lined up to go forward, I knew Derek would follow me, Hello. and yes, uh, I thought, right, we'll have a few lengths out the gate before we start. And, and Claudia rides him every day, what, what's he like as a horse? Oh, uh, he's, he's, he's special. <laughs> Um, we just complement each other, I think, and, you know, everyone loves him. He's a f little favourite at the yard and stuff like that, and, um, you know, he's a special way about him. And it was nice that Harry had that celebration, didn't even drop his whip. Oh, I know, like... <laughs> uh, I, I like to think Harry's our good jockey. <laughs> I think he, he's doing all right, let's put it that way. Well done, congratulations, team.